You're watching Explore Tulsa. I grew up in the center of France. It's called Clermont-Ferrand. It's three hours south of Paris. We had a big garden, probably half an acre. So my mom always had a big space for flowers. My mom always, always made flower arrangements for our house, always, and I did too. And I had forgotten about this for the longest time. And um, so I guess I, I had this with me somewhere, buried. I knew nothing about um, weddings or making bouquets or anything, I just, I taught myself, started from home, from the sunroom, and my first year I did 10 little weddings. I got flowers and just practiced and learned how to make rice corsages and bouquets and, and all those things on my own. And so, kind of slowly grew, my business grew. Uh, second year I did 46 weddings and I worked out of the garage for probably 10 years until I moved here in this location. I was doing things differently. You're a bit more French, European looking. I think my style was fresh. And, um, and people, girls like this. And, and back then, weddings were not the production that they are now, but definitely, I think brides were looking for something different than, than other florists were putting together. Um, they were very traditional. Um, every bride is unique, every, everybody is different. And I, even if I make a lot of white bridal bouquets, I, um, I think about it a lot and make sure they don't look like each other. So usually, Brides come over with pictures. They have ideas, some kind of ideas of what they want. Sometimes very precise ideas, sometimes just concepts. So I, I look at those pictures, um, ask about colors, um, ask all sorts of questions. I need to understand what they want, um, what they like, what they don't like, what they don't want. And whatever they don't know, I feel like I can help them to define um, and, and dig a little bit more in, in that vision. And we look at more pictures together. I take a lot of notes and, and we go from there. A lot of brides like to preserve their bridal bouquets. So we, we there was a lady in town, we used to do this, and um, she contacted us asking us if we could take over. Our business we did, so we started this year. We learned the flower preservation process. We tested, we worked on it for probably six months before we were able to um, provide a product like this. We've worked with a couple of people on boxes. Our boxes are custom made, so um, they had to be perfect and we're happy with the final product now. So. Uh, we have pretty much every Monday brides who contact us. We, they just got married and they ask us to preserve their bouquets. So this, this is, uh, this is, these are fun. We love, we love those products. They are definitely artistic in the textures and the colors, in the way the, the textures and the colors are mixed together. Um, I think they are romantic too. Yeah, there's, there's always softness about it, um, fullness too. And um, I like to make it a piece of art, unique, definitely. This is, this is part of me and my DNA now. Mm -hmm. 